Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I wanted to share with you this cute Sailor Moon inspired nail art. I actually really got inspired by some photos I saw on Instagram of like Sailor Moon episodes and all that jazz and I really love Sailor Moon. I am a 90s girl myself and Sailor Moon is from the 90s too and I just really love that anime. It is one of my favorites but if you're curious to see how I made this please keep on watching. So first up you want to start off with a good layer of base coat. I'm using one by Essence and then I'm going in with a really pretty like a really light pink OPI polish by the Hello Kitty collection and I am just going to apply that to almost all of my nails and for now sparing the pointer fingernail. And in total, I applied about two or three thin coats of this color because it is a little bit sheer and I did want it to work with thin layers so it dried more easily or like quickly. Then on the pointer finger, I'm going in with a really pretty like fuchsia kind of color. Then I am going to use a little bit of like a, a little piece of a kitchen sponge and just adding that same like fuchsia color by OPI. And I'm going to make a really roughly, um, almost like a watercolor kind of like gradient effect to the nails. Not really gradient, but just adding the pink to the tips of the nails. And I'm doing that for the thumb, the pinky and the middle finger. And I'm just adding two layers of that and just making it look a little bit splotchy and like watercolor like. <laughs> I really like the way this looks and I think it's just a really cool effect to this design. Then you want to make sure that is completely dry before you go on with the next step. Then I also wanted to add a little bit of glitter because you know me, I love my glitters and I'm using a holographic silver glitter polish by Catrice. This one is a limited edition, but I am applying this to the pointer finger and the ring finger as well. And I'm just adding about two layers because I do want a decent amount of that beautiful holographic glitter. And this is like a mixed glitter polish. So it has some finely milled glitter and some chunkier glitter as well. Then on forehand, I already cut out a couple of Sailor Moon water decals. I'm not going to use all of them, but I just picked out a couple which I actually really wanted to use. And I haven't um, drawn out anything about how I wanted this design to look. I just winged it, go with the flow. I just did whatever felt pretty and cute. And yeah, I just let my own imagination and creativity um, lead me in this. So I did get like a little swirly like border design and I really wanted to put that on the thumb. We are going to add a couple of rhinestones later on so it isn't completely done yet. So with water decals you want to make sure that you get rid of that clear film and dunk it in the water for about 20 seconds. And after that you can just easily slide off the um, decal off of the white backing paper. And sometimes, especially with like delicate um, and intricate designs like this one, um, you just really want to be careful with it. Use some tweezers if you might think that may be a little helpful. And just when you add it to the nail, you just want to press it down softly, like really gently. And just make sure there's no water underneath that decal anymore. So I just used the really cute like sitting down on a moon. <laughs> Sailor Moon image and I added that, that to the middle finger and for the pinky I wanted to add just a really cute pink bow. This is like a full on pink design. I really love my pinks and I love Sailor Moon so I had to do something with pink <laughs> because it is so girly and all. And after that just press down all of the water decals really gently and just get rid of any excess um, if that's needed. Then on forehand I just took a couple of gems and just some metal studs to one of my tri triangular um, plates. And I am going to add uh, adhere those with some top coat to my different nails. And I'm using like a knockoff crystal katana. Um, to um, apply them to the nails. 
So first up, I just wanted to do like a halfway, um, yeah, how do you call that? I don't even know. I just added five rhinestones, one bigger one in the center, um, two smaller ones to the sides and even, even smaller ones to the sides of that. So it's kind of like a necklace kind of idea and I added a little gold star underneath that as well. Then for the pointer finger, um, I was applying a decent amount of top coat to make sure all of the gems and studs will um, stay put for a long time. I really wanted to make that kind of like scepter Sailor Moon has. So I just build it up with a couple of different metal studs, some micro beads and a really tiny rhinestone as well. And I just use the same pink rhinestones I'm using throughout this entire design. And it all is the same gold uh, metal studs as well. They all come from the same little package. In the meantime, you might want to go over with a little bit of that top coat. If you are using a fast drying top coat, it might dry a little bit too fast if you don't have a plan what you want to do on forehand. But then in between that little moon shape and the uh, handlebar, you want to add three tiny um, micro beads. And at the bottom, you also want to add a tiny rhinestone just to make it completely perfect, if you know what I mean. You can always use like reference pictures and stuff like that if you're not completely sure how it looked or just make it unique and make it your own, you know? Then for the middle finger where we added the tiny sailor moon on that little moon, <laughs> I wanted to add a couple of those gold metal studs in star shape. And I also wanted to add a couple of those micro beads as like twinkling stars far away, which you can't really see the star shape of, if you know what I mean. And I just added that on the entire nail, making sure that I wouldn't go over the water decal image. And just move it around where you want them to be. Then it is time for the ring finger and again just add a good amount of top coat. You could also just adhere them with a little bit of like a gel top coat or something like that. But I prefer with designs like this just to use a base coat or a top coat, sorry. Um, because I don't really like um, to wear my designs for longer than a week because I really want to make lots of different nail art videos so I really want to upload once a week and it's always kind of a hassle to get rid of um, gel top coats but here you can see me adding five bigger rhinestones and I'm also um, applying a couple of micro beads in between those stones so in between all of those rhinestones, I'm going to add that those gold micro beads we added earlier in this design as well. So if you do that, you actually tie down this entire design into one complete set and it actually do match really well with all the other nails. So this is kind of like a time consuming um, way of applying them, but the end result is really, really pretty though. And as I said before, practice makes perfect and the more you do nail art, the better and more fast you will get uh, just applying everything to the nails. And then for the pinky nail, I wanted to add another of those really cute golden stud stars and a micro bead underneath as well. You don't want to add too much to the pinky nail. Sometimes you do, but for this design, I didn't want to because the other nails were already like really much and I didn't want to go like over the top. It's totally up to you if you want to go over the top, <laughs> but I felt like I didn't need to. Then I applied a last layer of top coat, making sure not to cover the rhinestones because when you cover rhinestones with top coat, they might get dull and less shiny and you don't want that. But I did want it to go over the metal studs a little bit just to make sure they are adhered really, really well. And it, now I'm recording this voiceover, it's almost a week later. And my rhinestones and studs are still perfectly on my nails. And my nail art is still really, really good. It's almost a shame I'm getting this off tomorrow. 
um, but yeah that was actually the entire design I really hope you liked it do let me know in the comments down below which one of Sailor Moon characters is your favorite mine is Sailor Venus so I will definitely will be doing a design of that as well but thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time